thanks to the vision of the air staff, Britain had not been left behind. They saw the need for aircraft able to carry even deadlier bomb loads, higher, faster and further than ever before. It was in January of 1947 that the specifications for such a bomber and order to tender was received by A.V. Rowe and Company Limited. Sir Roy Dobson, managing director of Avro, immediately called his design and technical team together. Avro's designers had already examined the problems of creating an aircraft with the very ambitious performance demanded by the Ministry, but now it had become a firm requirement. Roy Ewan's chief designer explains the problems involved. A very big conventional aircraft with swept wings seemed the obvious solution. But it just would not do. The wings were too large and too heavy. An alternative concept we explored was the tailless aircraft. But here again we were beaten by weight. The specification demands a very high cruising speed, close to that of sound, and this means that the wings must have a low thickness chord ratio, a low wing loading, high sweep back and low aspect ratio. Our project studies led us eventually to the triangular or delta plan form, which gave the best combination of these features. 